How's it going everybody? This is Andre here covering for Kevin on the Kevin Breeze channel and this is Motorola Moto G Power 2021 tips, tricks, and hidden features. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you a variety of different things you can do with this phone to get the most out of its features. Now the first thing I wanna show you how to do is how to take a three finger screenshot. Now to do this, you have to enable it first. And to do that, you go to the menu and hit the settings button right down here. And then type three finger screenshot into the search. So once it's enabled, all you need to do to take a screenshot is put three fingers spread apart onto the screen of the phone, hold them for a minute, and a screenshot will show up. I think this is a really cool feature. A lot of phones don't have it like this. Most of the time you have to press a button on the phone itself to get a screenshot, but this is really nice and it's really convenient. The next thing I wanna show you is how to get the battery percentage. So right now we have the battery bar, but we can't see the percentage unless you pull it down here and then it'll tell you. To get it on the home screen itself, all you need to do is go to the settings again and type in the search bar battery percentage. And then right here, you'll be able to turn that on. And then once it's enabled, it'll show up right here. Some people don't like to have it on the home screen itself just because it adds another thing to that top there. But having the battery percentage on the regular screen is kind of nice because it gives you a good idea of where you're at as far as battery life. Now, while we're on the subject of the battery, there are a couple things that you might want to know about. So if you go up here to usage details, it'll actually tell you which apps you use that take up the most battery. So if your battery is draining really fast, if you use your phone a lot throughout the day, and see exactly what you're doing that's causing it to drain so fast. Another cool feature in this section is the battery saver. Now, if you're ever in a situation where you're running a little low on battery and don't have the chance to plug in your phone at the moment, then you can always turn on the battery saver and it'll help your phone run a little bit more efficiently to save some power. So another thing I wanna talk about is the navigation. So as you can see here, we are in gesture navigation right now, and it is pretty nice, but if you want that more traditional Android navigation, there is a way to bring it back. So again, go to settings right here, and then search, type in navigation. System navigation is gonna pop up, and then you hit that. And again, we are in gesture navigation right now, and if you wanna switch it, just hit three button navigation, and then you'll see the traditional Android navigation is gonna be up. It's definitely nice to have that option to switch between the two. Of course, as time goes on and phones develop more, their interface does change, but sometimes the new features and the new way of doing things doesn't always work for everybody. So it is nice to have the option to go back to the old way with the three button system. So right now, if you double tap the power button, it opens the Google Assistant. Now that's great and all, but if you don't use Google Assistant, there are some other things you can do with this button. In order to see these options, you're going to want to go to the settings again, and then type gestures. Once you're here, you're going to go to gestures here, and then you'll see double press power key. Here you have the option to either launch the assistant, launch the camera, or you could just make it do nothing. I really like this feature. It's a really convenient way to open your camera. Speaking of ways to open the camera, there's another really cool way that you're gonna to wanna to know about. So again, go to the settings in the search bar, just like last time, type gestures, but this time you're gonna to wanna to go to the quick capture. Once this feature is enabled, all you need to do to open your camera is go like this, and there we go. I think this feature is really cool, super convenient, and probably the fastest way possible to open your camera. Another feature that I really like in the gestures is the fast flashlight. Once this feature is enabled, it's really easy to turn on your flashlight and you don't really have to do a whole lot. With fast flashlight enabled, all you need to do to turn it on is go like this. And then to turn it off, you do the same thing. Swiping down and hitting the flashlight button is easy enough, but when you can do it with a simple gesture, it just makes everything easier. The final feature in gestures I want to talk about is the swipe to split. Now this is a really unique feature that can be super useful for multitasking. Once the feature is enabled and you have an app open and want to use a different one without closing the first app, all you need to do is swipe back and forth real quick, it'll open the multitasking section and you can choose another app, and then you can use both at once. 
This is definitely a useful feature if you're multitasking a lot. It does take a little getting used to. You do have to do this motion really quickly, but once you get it down, it's really easy and really convenient when you need it. So this keyboard is really nice, but one thing a lot of people don't like about it that they wish it had was a dedicated row for the numbers. Now you can actually change that so it does have that. In order to do that, whenever you have the keyboard pulled up, go to the gear right here, and this is gonna take you to the keyboard settings. All you gotta do now is hit preferences and turn on the number row. Once this is enabled, the keyboard will have its own dedicated number row. Sometimes when you're trying to get things done and don't want a whole lot of distractions, getting notifications from your phone can be kind of annoying. Of course, you can go into do not disturb mode, but there's an easier way to do that. So you're gonna wanna go into the settings, and once that pulls up, you're going to want to type flip for DND. Now, once this is enabled, whenever you don't want any notifications, if you don't want to be disturbed for whatever reason, all you need to do is flip your phone over on its face. You'll hear it vibrate and you will be in do not disturb mode and you won't get any notifications until you pick it up. You'll feel it vibrate again and it'll be back to normal. I think this feature is really nice because sometimes you won't want notifications for a specific period of time, but then once you're done with whatever you're doing, you wanna put it back to normal, but going into the settings and changing it manually can be a hassle. So I think it's a really nice convenient way to change the setting of the phone without having to press a bunch of buttons. So sometimes you might feel like changing up your home screen a little bit. And of course you can do this by accessing the settings, but the easier way to do it is just simply holding your finger down on the home screen and the options are gonna come out. You got a few different settings here, the basic home screen settings, and then you can also customize the home screen with widgets and different styles and wallpapers as well. Going through the settings is easy enough, but I really like that they have a more convenient way to do it right from the home screen instead of having to go through the whole menu. Now the last thing I want to talk about is the display timeout. Now sometimes, depending on your situation and your needs, the screen might time out way too fast for you, which is frustrating because then you have to keep tapping it to keep it awake, or it might not time out fast enough, which can cause it to drain your battery faster. Either way, you can change how long it goes until the screen times out through the settings. Go up to the settings as usual. Go down to display. Hit advanced. And select screen timeout. Right now it's set to 30 minutes, but you can get it as low as 15 seconds if you want to. I would say the best thing to do is to play around with it and see which one works best for you because it's going to be different for everybody. But I hope you enjoyed this tips and tricks and hidden features video about the Motorola Moto G Power 2021. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.